In this lesson, we're going to be adding items from Apple Music to our music library. Since I have the Sync Library option activated on both the Mac and my iPhone, these library changes will sync as I add songs from Apple Music. We can add single songs, complete albums, or full playlists from Apple Music. Let's start with a couple songs here on the Mac. To add a song, simply click on the plus button to its right. If I now move into the recently added section in my library, this song is now going to appear here. Search in my library and it turns up. Over on the iPhone, this song is now available as well because the libraries have synced. As of now, this song has not been downloaded to either the Mac or the iPhone. So right now when I play this song, it's still streaming from Apple Music. I need to click on the download icon to save the file to the Mac and be able to listen to the song when offline. Now this track displays no icon because it's been both added to my library and downloaded to each device. Now let's add a complete album from Apple Music. From the For You section on the iPhone, I'm going to add this Audio Slave album. I can either tap and hold and then tap Add to Library. Or when viewing the full album, tap the Add button here at the top. Doing so will put every song from this album into my library. To add an album on the Mac, we can either right click on it and add to library, or view the full album and again click on the add button. Once added, we can then download the entire album or only download the songs individually on either device. Now let's add a playlist from Apple Music to our library. In both the For You and Browse sections of Apple Music, you're going to find a ton of curated playlists that are regularly updated. Notice this Relax playlist from Apple Music Pop was updated on Saturday. We can add individual songs from these playlists to our library, but if I add the entire playlist using the Add button here, the playlist is going to be displayed over in the playlist section of my library. This playlist also appears then on my iPhone. These playlists aren't editable. They're fully controlled by the Apple Music curators. So they won't appear as an option in the Add to Playlist menu item. We can add the songs in these playlists to our own playlist, though. Also notice that adding an Apple Music playlist doesn't actually add the songs into my library. So these playlists can be used as ways to find and add new songs to your library. As the playlists are updated, songs are going to be removed. So if you find a song in an Apple Music playlist that's regularly updated, it's a good idea to add that song to your library to essentially save it, because eventually it's going to be pushed out of the playlist. To remove one of these playlists, right-click and choose Delete from Library on the Mac, and on iOS, tap and hold and choose the same command. If you have added songs to your library from this playlist, they will remain in your library after the playlist has been removed. So we can use Apple Music to build onto our own music library. Anything added to our library from Apple Music 
can also be downloaded to any of our devices using Apple Music. Of course, for the songs added to our library to continue to be available, your subscription to Apple Music needs to remain active. 